Hey everybody, so I got a couple more clutches of uh, eggs to cut here. We've got tons and tons of eggs. I've had more clutches incubating right now than I've ever had at any one moment in time in the last 21 years of breeding ball pythons. All my incubators are completely full to the point where if I have a clutch laid, such as I had today, I have to have at least one clutch hatch. Luckily, they're starting to hatch more frequently than they're being laid now. Uh, my season for, for some reason this year seems to be kind of condensed. Um, you know, it started off slow, then it got really busy really fast with, with clutches being laid, and now it seems to be kind of getting a little slower now, which I'm actually looking forward to um, because now I can concentrate more on the hatchlings than just on the egg collecting. So speaking of hatchlings, let's take a look at a couple of clutches. Should be some really neat stuff. I don't know if we're going to be able to 100% be able to, to identify everything in here, um, but cool clutches nonetheless. Uh, so this first clutch is a banana calico yellow belly clown bred to a black pastel het clown. And he first one started hatching on his own and looking really cool. So this is not how I incubate my eggs. I normally have perlite on the bottom, then I have a light diffuser and that clutch is on top. But I actually ran out of incubation boxes and I ran out of a light diffuser here so uh, when the clutches were getting close to hatching I transferred them onto damp paper towel so that um, I could free up the light diffusers for fresh clutches that are being laid so anyway that's why th these or this one set up like this so obviously this is a clown I'd say it's a black pastel banana clown just from what I can see okay I actually still feel his little egg tooth on there so I don't know if I'm going to be able to really get at him very well to see much of a pattern, but if we can't, we'll always show him in another video. Yeah, it's definitely a banana black pastel clown. Can't really tell if there's calico or yellow belly in it yet, but wow, what pretty colors, nice and orange. Really cool. So yeah, we'll just let these guys hatch on their own, but in the meantime, we'll see what else we have in here. Such a fun time of year. It's a lot of work at this time of year, but it is so much fun to see all this cool stuff hatching. That's another banana clown of some kind. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to tell with these. The next clutch that I'm going to be cutting will be hopefully a little bit easier. Uh, looks like a black pastel, probably a yellow belly hat clown, I'm thinking. Some of these are really full of liquid yet, kind of hard to pinch a spot that you can cut. Either a calico clown or a yellow belly clown, I think. Not hard to see. Nice big clutch, though, so there should be a wide range of morphs in here. Say that's a calico hat clown. Could be yellow belly in that one as well. Looks like a banana hat clown. I don't really like to cut too much into these eggs. I like the, the babies to feel like they can stay in there until they're completely ready to come out. So I just want to open it up just enough to see. Wow, there's that's a white white patch on that snake. I wonder if that's a calico or what's going on with that. Let's 
very white, which would make me think, oh, it, well, yeah, it could be a, like a calico hat clown or something. Can't really see any pattern to it, so it's, I don't know. That one's kind of got me a little confused. Oh, there we go. That looks like a banana calico yellow belly. It doesn't look like a clown, though. That one may actually have black pastel in it, too. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, there's a yolk sack. Yeah, it's a clown. Just can't really see what else is in it. Okay, I should have brought some paper towel over here. Lots of snake goo. Okay, so this next clutch is, now this one I haven't taken everything out yet, uh, the light diffuser and the perlite, but this clutch is a, from a GHI pied bred to a black pastel pied. So everything in here is going to be visible pied. And I wanted to see what happens when you start stacking different kinds of dark jeans onto each other. I would say that's a GHI pied. I have no idea what a GHI black pastel pied looks like, so we may be looking at it right here, but I'm not sure. It doesn't quite have the typical coloration of a GHI pied, but black pastel pieds are usually very high white, so unless the GHI pied brings more pattern in, I'm not sure. I think you're going to hear me say I'm not sure or I have no idea a lot in these videos over, over this season. That's a black pastel pied. Nice high white. I love hatching pieds. They're one of my favorite morphs, but man, sometimes they're really tough to tell what's what. Especially on the really high white ones. It's another black pastel pied. That's good. I've been sold out of those for quite some time, so it's nice to see them back in the house here. Not really house, but you know, in my shop. Can't really see any pattern on that one. After this, I've got a, sh a clutch I'm going to show you real quick. Show some pretty amazing odds, actually. Right after I get done cutting these. It's got kind of a stronger pattern than a typical GHI pied, but I think that's what that is. Or it's just a really funky normal pied. I'd like to see something that I can definitively tell is a GHI black pastel pied. I'm hoping for like a super, super dark snake. There's a head. Yeah, again, can't really tell from that position. I couldn't really see any pattern on it other than on the head. That looks like a normal pied. That's a, I would say that's probably a GHI black pastel pied. That's a pretty dark snake. GHI pieds are dark, but not typically that dark. That actually looks more like a super GHI pied, which is not possible in this. That's cool. That looks like a GHI pied too. 
So yeah, we'll just have to see once these guys are out. I'm sure if there's something cool in here to show you, I'll definitely have them in a future video. So it'll probably be about, you know, roughly a week to two weeks before these guys shed. Probably two weeks since they're still in the egg yet. Uh, but then once they shed, I'll, I'm sure I'll show them in a video. Got so much stuff to show you guys this year, it's going to be just crazy. Speaking of crazy, here's some crazy odds. Um, so this was a dreamsicle to lavender het pied clutch. So statistically, one out of every two babies should be dreamsicle. And they're all going to have lavender albino in them for sure. But yeah, one out of every two should be dreamsicle. And this is what I got. Um, there's a dreamsicle in there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six dreamsicles and one lavender het pied. Just goes to show you, you can't always go by the odds that you're expected to get or projected to get. Sometimes, you know, you just get lucky like this. And I have plenty of clutches where it happens just the opposite of this too, where there's nothing, uh, you know, no dreamsicles in the clutch. Uh, I know with uh, clown pides, I've been skunked on the clutches. I did have one hatch a couple of weeks ago, but for the most part over the past year, I haven't produced many clown pides, even though I've produced plenty of pied hat clowns and clown hat pides. For some reason, just haven't had the right combos. But yeah, this is uh, this is one of those clutches that you dream about, though. It's most dream because they're dream cycles. But yeah, anyway, pretty cool. All right, so uh, that's all I'm going to show you for this time. But hopefully, I'll be back in just a couple days. I'm going to really try my best to keep up doing approximately two videos a week, most weeks. Um, with the Fourth of July coming up, I might miss a beat there and only do one. But uh, you know, I'll I'll do my best to keep showing you guys some new stuff. Also, make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'm going to start adding in uh, new babies onto the website, hopefully weekly uh, from here on out through probably the rest of the year, I would say. Uh, we got a, a ton of empty tubs right now. We're starting to set them up down there. I'm going to be feeding them pretty heavily for the first few weeks, get them ready for sale uh, really quickly, and um, then get them on the website. So definitely check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com, and I'll be back in just a few days to show you some more awesome ball pythons.